Welcome again to another series of electrical calculation and this time we're looking at this series circuit and in this series circuit we have resistors resistor 1 to be 20 ohms we don't have resistor 2 we have the total voltage is equal to 160 volts the total current is equal to 2 amperes and the total resistance is equal to 80 ohms these are the things that we are required to find R2 that should be here V1 that should be across R1 the voltage across R1 and we have V2 the voltage across resistor 2 so these are the things that we are required to find so let us work at this problem and see if we can find these values so the first thing that we're going to find or look for is the, the resistance, resistor 2. Now to find resistor 2, usually we add R1 and R2 and it will equal to 80 ohms because RT is equal to 80. So we need to find a formula such that when we work out R1 plus R2 it gives us 80 ohms so the here is what the formula should look like so we have r2 is equal to rt minus r1 so if we take away this r1 value from this rt value we should end up with this r2 value so that is what we're going to do so rt is 80 ohms so we put 80 here minus r1 which is 20 ohms so we put 20 here so when we minus 20 from 80 we are now left with 60 ohms so here we know our, our, our t value to be 60 ohms so moving on to v1 so the V1 voltage across resistor 1 so we need also to use a formula to find that and we're going to use a triangular formula remember before in previous videos we had a triangle and from this triangle we design a formula so we have V at the top I and R so V is for voltage, I is for current, and R is for resistance. So what is it what we're looking for? V, and if you cover V, we are left with I times R. So that is what we're going to use. So V is equal to I times R. Now because we're looking for voltage 1 across resistor 1, we're going to use one to represent that so we have i1 times r1 again we have to kind of know the characteristic of a series circuit and knowing that will tell us that the current flowing in a series circuit is constant so if we have it we also have the current that is flowing through this entire circuit so this 2 ampere should also appear at R1 and also appear at R2. So knowing that, let us use this in the formula. So I1 would be 2 amperes, 2, 2 A multiplied by R1 and R1 is 20 ohms. So 20 ohms. So then if we multiply 2 times 20, we're equal to 40 volts. So the voltage across the first resistor here would be 40 volts. All right, so this being said, let us move on to V2. So V2 would be the voltage that is across resistor two. So let us come up with a formula to find that so we're going to use again the same triangle you cover V and you're left with I times R so here 
v is equal to i times r and since we're looking at v2 we look at i2 times r2 and remembering again that the current is constant through r1 and r2 so the total current we use it because it is the same so we have 2 amperes multiplied by r2 and we have found r2 to be 60 ohms so we use that 60 ohms so here we have 2 times 60 is equal to 1 20 volts so v2 is now equal to 120 volts now that being so let us see if we can find another method of finding v2 even though it is not required but let us try another method so looking at v2 coming across here v2 is equal to now, based on the operation of a series circuit, the voltage here plus the voltage here would equal to the voltage down here, which is 160. Let us look at that. So, the V1 is 40 and V2 is 120. So, if you add 40 plus 120, you should have 160 volts. So, we can use another formula to come up with the voltage up here now since you would have had v1 and v1 would be 40 so we have the formula we're looking for v2 so v2 is equal to v t minus v1 so if we have v t v t is 160 volts 160 volts minus v1 and v1 is now 40 volts so v1 is 40 volts so if you minus 40 from 60 you still end up with 120 volts to be v2 so this this is another method of finding v2 from the information that we would have had from the 40 volts and the 160 volts to be the total voltage all right so hopefully this problem if you have something similar to this you can solve it using this video or the information presented in this video Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Have yourself a nice day.